be able to see trouble before it gets too bad. We'll go up together, I'll talk you through a few maneuvers, and if you pass, you'll be with Instructor Rios until you graduate. Sound good? At 8 knots, visibility greater than 10 miles, few clouds at 9,000, temperature 70, 2.35, altimeter 3011, no sig, departure runway 03 right, arrival runway 21 right, visual approaches in use, advise on initial contact you have information Bravo, Nellis information Bravo, 1315 Zulu, wind 210 at 8 knots, visibility greater than 10 miles, few clouds at 9000, Temperature 70, 2.35, altimeter 3011, no sig, departure runway 03 right, arrival runway 21 right, visual approaches in use, advise on initial contact you have information Bravo, Nellis information Bravo, 1315 Zulu, wind 210 at 8 knots, visibility greater than 10 miles, few clouds at 9000, Temperature 70, 2.35, altimeter. Is the alignment complete? Okay, good. When you're ready, I'll call for taxi. Chill contact, you have. Okay, ready. Set the HUD to take off mode. Okay. It's at 9,000. Temperature. Adjust the radio volumes as required. In Check the ADIS on button 11 for the QNH and set the altimeter. Okay, done. Now it's clearance, gunfighter 1-1, one, one, ready to copy with Bravo, South War. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, now it's clearance. You're cleared south near via the Dream 6 departure, wind is 5. Squawk 4021, departure frequency will be 273.55. Squawk 4021, departure 273.55, Gunfighter 11. Gunfighter 11, read back correct. Contact ground on 275, decimal 8, prior to taxi. Copy, contact ground. Nellis ground, Gunfighter 11 at Foxtrot, ready to taxi with Bravo. Gunfighter 11, Nellis ground. Turn left, Foxtrot, right Alpha, cross runway 03 left, hold short, 03 right. Left, Foxtrot, right Alpha, cross 03 left, hold short, 03 right. Gunfighter 1 1. Okay, here we go. Tap the brakes when we start rolling to make sure they work. Then log in the rudders to make sure the nose wheel steering is functioning. What are you doing? Copy. Chief, disconnect ground air supply. Chief, turn off the ground power. Ground air supply is now disconnected. Copy. Ground power is now off. Okay, let's go through the takeoff checklist. Brakes. Check okay, accumulator pressure's up. Fuel. Normal feed, auto transfer, dumps off, feed tanks full, and go set. Keep it closed, locks engaged, lights out, stripes align, handle in closed position. Closed, locks engaged, light out, seal inflated, handle in closed position. 
Seat on top and bottom, command eject aft, strapped in six ways. I'm on top and bottom, showing MC on the window. SAS. All on. ATLS. On. All circuit breaker set. All minor set. Master test. Off. Bye-bye. Normal. Compass, standby jail, altimeter. Compass synced, standby jail erect, altimeter set. Wings. Swept. Trim. Set, zero, zero, zero. On a swap. Mind locked. Controls. I'll get it on the runway. All warning and caution lights out. Minor out. You ready to go? Ready. Nellis Tower, Gunfighter 1 1, holding short runway 0 3 right, ready to go. Gunfighter 1 1, Nellis Tower, wind 2 1 0 at 8, clear for takeoff runway 3 right. Clear for takeoff 0 3 right, Gunfighter 1 1. Okay, let's spread the wings, spoilers, and anti skid, flaps to maneuver, take the runway, and stop on center line. Wings at 20 auto, both lights out. Maneuver, spoiler module on, spoiler brake selected. Now all the brakes, throttle up to more power and perform the control wipe up. Here comes the wipe up. Left, right, forward, aft, free and correct. Okay, now release the brakes and as the plane accelerates, let it fly off the runway with just a little bit of wrap stick. Once the nose lifts off, let the mains come off the runway. Let the nose slightly and quickly raise the gear so we don't overspeed. I'm at a shallow angle so we can accelerate, but keep it below 450 knots if you can. Remember, we don't need the burners in this B model. This plane's a beast. Yes, sir. Make sure the nose wheel steering is off by 100 knots. We'll go.
Okay, we're at truck stop. I switched to waypoint two on the HSI, which is Juno. Climb to 17,000 feet. Yes, sir. Hey, Slick, I hope you're as excited to fly the Tomcat as I was. I got a ride when I was just a midi, and it totally changed my life. I was hooked from the very first second, seriously. She's an amazing bird, legendary for good reasons. A true pilot's plane. If you can learn to master her and deal with her quirks, you'll prove yourself to be a very good pilot. Yes, sir. Today's the first step along that journey. Concentrate on the details. Conquer the minutia. The little things matter when you are working to become a Tomcat pilot. Let's have some fun, but remember, if you don't learn to fly the Tomcat properly, she'll end up flying you. Got it. Agent 2, just want to make sure you can make your descent prison position to Apex. Wow, well, never been this busy before. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, approaching Juno, contact black check on 377.8. Neutralized. 
Recover at 17 units AOA, thrust is required. If spinning below 10,000 feet AGL, eject.
First, just a basic wing over. It's a really graceful, gentle maneuver where you'll reverse your direction of travel by pulling up into the vertical, pivoting on a wingtip, and come out of it going the opposite direction at the same altitude and airspeed. Nice work. Let's move on to the loop. Basic shit here. Same setup at 15K and 350 knots. Plug the blowers into max. 4G pull, making sure you keep the wings level. Once your nose high and the airspeed begins to decay, intercept 15 minutes angle of attack and hold that as you go inverted and nose back down. Once the airspeed and G build back up, get back on that 4G pull and come out of blower to control your speed. You need to begin on heading north and come out of the maneuver on the same heading, same altitude, and airspeed. Oh. 
fuel until we hit 15 units anyway. Alright, we should be heading exactly opposite the compass heading we started from. Make sure you keep the 15 units anyway pole. Keep the nose tracking. Look as far back as you can to visually catch the horizon. Keep coming in to scan the instruments and anyway so you can do this 100% by feel. Make sure you're at a burn. Get in that 4G pull, but no more. Start modulating your altitude and airspeed from here on to end up on the same heading, airspeed, and altitude as when we started. Okay, not great. Let's try it again. Yes, sir. Base 36, just to be advised, we're at uh, Angels 26.5, and we're number two. Uh, check notes is cold, switch is safe, and zero six is home. Okay, cool. Loops are done for now. Let's get into half Cuban. The first half is the same as a loop, but once you get your nose pointed back toward the ground at 45 degrees nose down, stop your pull, neutralize the stick for a moment, but roll wings level in either direction. The objective is to finish the maneuver on the opposite cardinal heading from the one you began. Again, you've got to finish the same altitude and the same airspeed, but heading in the opposite direction. You ready to do half Cuban? Okay, hit it. One, continue reference at zero six zero. Stand by targeting. I've been one. I've been three. I've been three. I've been three. Reference zero six zero. I've been three. Nicely done. Now for the famous Immelman. Basically, the first half of the loop. Same setup for the airspeed and altitude. 4G pull until you hit 15 units. Hold that until you're inverted, heading in the opposite direction, and your nose is 10 degrees above the horizon. Stop the pull, neutralize the stick for a moment, and roll wings level in either direction. You should finish up going in the opposite direction. It's just half a loop, stop and roll. Ready to Immelman? Go. Roger. Next we do the back half of the Immelman, the split S. Start at 22K, 200 knots on a cardinal heading. Pull the power at mill, first roll inverted, neutralize, then pull to 15 units. As your airspeed and G increase, pull to 4 Gs and modulate throttles to roll out in the opposite direction at 15K and 350 knots. Piece of cake. You ready? Go. Ready.
Okay, nicely done. Now to finish up, we're going to put those last few maneuvers together into what's called a squirrel cage. You'll start with a loop, go right into a half cuban, no pause into an inlement, then finish up with the split S. No stopping between maneuvers. You've got to begin and finish at our standard speed and angels, 15K and 350 knots. Pick a cardinal heading, make sure you keep your proper G, AOA, and roll control throughout the four maneuvers. Hit 15K and 350 at the bottom each time. Ready to bang out a squirrel cage? All right, let's go. Blackjack, Sniper 4, flight at Bighorn, ready for RTB. Sniper 4, Blackjack, radar contact, proceed direct ARCO, contact approach. Sniper 4. Okay, we're done with the basic aerobatics for the moment. We're going to move into some slow speed handling, so turn off the roll sass. We're going to do a few high AOM maneuvers. True stick and runner mastery is really critical to being a good top cap pilot. The next maneuver is the high AOA flat scissors practice. Slow speed, high alpha competence is just as important as the vertical and horizontal maneuvers we do. The goal is to get so slow the other plane flushes out in front, and you're on the fight.
Control 3225. Just want to see if you have clearance for DOGS 41, if it's going to be the same as for Razor 31, Direct Tambo 250. 3225 affirmative, that will be for all receivers coming uh, to you today. 25 copies, thanks.
turns. Easy on the stick, no rudder. Let's make a 45 degree turn to the right, then level the wings, then return back to the left. Roger. of how the F-14B maneuvers throughout the entire envelope. As we move through the syllabus, we'll continue to get more comfortable with this beast. Yes, sir. All right, exercise complete. Let's head to Stucky's Peak and I'll call Blackjack.
you fence out what I call blackjack. Check our fuel state, check hydraulics, check engine instruments, make sure nothing's leaking and all systems are operating normal. Roger. Blackjack, gunfighter 1-1 one -one approaching Stecky's Peak. We're complete in the South War, ready for RTB. Gunfighter 1-1 one -one Blackjack, copy. Radar contact, proceed direct to ARCO, contact approach. Gunfighter 1-1, one -one, switching. ARCO is our waypoint 3. Pass at 15,000 feet and I'll contact approach. Yes, sir. Mel's approach, Gunfighter 1-1 one -one checking in at Arco with Bravo for the carrier break. Gunfighter 1-1, one -one, radar contact. Continue inbound to Nellis. Expect the carrier break runway 2-1. Right hand pattern. Gunfighter 1-1, one -one, copy all. Let's continue towards Apex, which is stored as our IP. You want to pass it at 4,500 feet MSL as we set up for the initial. Switch to have the landing mode and make sure the hook bypass switch is set to field. Otherwise, the indexer lights will flash in order to warn you to lower the hook. Five eight eight Papa radar contact two five miles northeast of Nels, clear to Las Vegas Cross Bravo airspace. We have present heading. There's the Bravo airspace. Uh, maintain uh, sir. Heading eight eight Papa. Number two zero six maintain seven thousand. Number eight zero Papa maintain six thousand five hundred for traffic. Number eight zero Papa traffic twelve to one o'clock five miles westbound. Uh, T, or sorry, C206 at 8,077,000. Uh, keep an eye 
Southbound traffic, here we pop up. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, contact tower. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, switching. Dallas Tower, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, Apex for the carrier break. Full stop. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, Dallas Tower, report 3 mile initial for runway 2-1 right. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, we'll go. Let's set up the initial on runway 2-1 right, 2700 feet, 350 knots, Right hand brake. On downwind, we'll go down to 2,500 feet. Got it. Okay, let's sweep the wings all the way back. Halfway down the runway, brake right and pop the speed brakes. As the speed decels below 300, move the wing switch to auto. Drop the gear at 250 and the flaps and DLC at 220. You remember that landing checklist? Once the 
was settled onto the runway, hold the stick aft to use the big elevators to help slow down. Once at taxi speed, get the nose wheel steering on, get your flaps up, boards in, and wings to oversweep as you clear the runway. Yes, sir. Gunfighter 1 1, clear the active via Bravo, contact ground. Gunfighter 1 1, we'll go. Okay, turn off the runway to the right, out of taxiway Bravo. Copy. Now it's ground, Gunfighter 1 1, clear of active on Bravo. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, now it's ground, taxi Bravo to Foxtrot. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, we'll go. Turn left on the taxiway Foxtrot, then back to our parking position. Gunfighter 2 1 at Foxtrot, ready to taxi with Bravo. Gunfighter 2 1, Nellis Ground, turn left, Foxtrot, right Alpha, cross runway 03 left, hold short, 03 right. Left, Foxtrot, right Alpha, cross 3 left, hold short, 3 right, Gunfighter 2 1. Yes, sir. Thank you. 